Hey everyone, Dr. Baron Grutter here. I'm recording this video um, at the request of a friend. Well, he didn't make, ask for the video, he asked for a solution, uh, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to make a video. So what he's trying to do is he's done this wax up for a patient, and he wants to have the patient in and be able to 3D print it in advance, insert it in the mouth, and just give a chance give the patient a chance to see kind of what they can do. It's not a final, it's not anything like that, it's just <clears throat> a, an overlay. You could potentially bond it in, you could do certain things with it. I'm not gonna talk, go to the detail on that, but the idea is he wanted to know, can he subtract out the model from this wax up so that he could 3D print it? Because if you look under, underneath, you can see where the teeth are sticking to the tissue. Um, and so yeah, so I'm not gonna move anything around. This is his wax up. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do that part. Uh, I have locked the teeth just so I don't inadvertently um, move things around or scale things. Um, simple enough to go to the teeth panel and lock them. Uh, I advise that once you get a set, just lock them. Uh, I guess the, the locks are annoying to look at, but uh, it will make everything easy moving forward. So what I need to do here is I need to move to a different module. Uh, I will tell you that in the future, this functionality will be ported over into model editing. I don't know if it will be moved completely by you know, just moved or if it'll be added to. And the reason I say that is if when you're watching this, you go to look where I'm gonna show you, it's not there, it might already be in the model editing module. So I don't know when that'll happen, I'm just kinda of giving you a heads up. Uh, yeah. So what we need to do is we need to go to the crown and bridge module. So if you click on this, what we need to do is we need to look for the teeth edit panel. Now I'm already here because I've been messing around with this in preparation of the video. Normally it pops you up here in your teeth surfaces. We're looking for teeth edit panel. If you don't find that visible, visible immediately, come up here to panels, click on teeth editing, and you should be good to go. Um, so uh, what we need to do is we're looking for this Boolean operations. Now this menu is usually collapsed as is here. And we're going to click this arrow and now we can find what we're looking for. One of the things is, is as of now, we need to merge these teeth into one unit. Yeah. Uh, I've tried just creating a surface using the file um, uh, ex export, um, SCL export, whatever, uh, export data, I mean, and then creating a surface. It doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to reach out to the team and see why I feel like it should work, but I guess I kind of can get it just from the complexity. We want one uh, combined STL. Anyway, so to do that, we have two steps. First, we need to combine these into one, and then we're going to subtract the teeth out. So we need to come over here to union, and then we need to start adding all six teeth. So we've got this molar, or this, this it doesn't matter which, which we call, I'm gonna do this five times. Uh, Cause there's one, then plus five, there's six teeth total. And I'm just clicking through them in order. I don't, eh, accidentally rolled my mouse wheel. It's easy to do, don't do that. And so I'm just finding all of them. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And you can see how it's just the different types of teeth. Um, yep, lateral, lateral. All right, so once I've got union, all of these listed, I can just say apply, and it's gonna create a new model that represents um, all of those teeth. So I can turn off, turn everything off, scroll all the way to the bottom, and this last one, although it looks the same, it's actually a different surface. I'll show you what, that, what I mean by that in just a moment. But notice I click on that one thing, it's all the teeth. Um, if I look here, see how it says lateral incisor union four. Um, <coughs> it's just, um, I've been thinking around this case, it usually would say two, and then every time you make a surface, um, it adds a number. But anyway, that's why this is, it's just, it just copied the same name and added union force, or union, whichever union this is. What we need to do now, is I want to subtract the model from this. So now I'm going to do a difference. I need to reselect that, and the, the model I want to subtract is, happens to be the green one. I should have set it visible already. Just I don't need to do that. I'm just doing it to, for the sake of showing you what I'm talking about. I want to have these, and I want to subtract that away. So I've got it all set up, a difference. From this, I want to take away this. Click Apply, and there we go. So now I can come back to T surfaces. I can turn off the model. I can turn off that original combined, and here it is. 
So this is my 3D printable mock-up. Now you're think, you might be thinking, well look at all these pieces floating around in here. Um, and I don't want this to move. Let's lock that. Um, so that, that from there, I can come back into the model master, the surfaces. Oh, it's not showing up there. I know I can export this, but I guess uh, is it under teeth list. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I was hoping. Let me see if I can make a surface out of this. File export data and just have that one checked. Now click create surface. So I can. So now I want surfaces, and there it is. So toothless, let's just turn this off. We, oh, we want it locked, just for whatever reason, but we don't want them visible. So now I can say, okay. Why is it, it's, it's, it's red, it's visible simply because I'm clicked on it, but you can ignore that. Let's see, can I? Yeah, that's annoying. It's annoying, but it, it's it's not actually a problem. So what I want to do now is, if I want to get rid of all these things, I should be able to... Oh, the hint is on the visibility, sorry. All right, because what I actually wanted to do was not do that. I want to click the isolate. There. Now all those pieces up there just have disappeared. I'm wondering if I change, if I can get it to stop showing me there. Now it did. Ah, okay. So let's go back to model matter. Notice that one of the teeth disappeared. And I can't undo that because I've changed module, modules around. Um, it disappeared because it was not actually attached. It wasn't, um, like it wasn't merged onto it. So that's uh, a bit annoying for the sake of this video. Um, so I guess I can go ahead and just delete this. I can go back to the Crown Bridge. And I know this is taking longer. I could just edit this part out, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, yeah, so here it is. Um, the thing about it is, is there's a air gap in there. So that's a bit frustrating because, oh, I know, yeah. The, the easiest way to probably make this work would be to go back and go in. We didn't actually have to come over here. We can say, let's make a surface out of this. The only thing that's visible is this. Say create surface. And now I'm going to duplicate this. And then um, for this one, I'm going to isolate let me do it. Isolate this part. And notice that, uh, let's turn this off. Annoying, trying to get that, that red thing to turn off the visibility. Now let's go to surfaces. Let's turn this on. Okay. And this one's just got these teeth. This one, I should be able to isolate just this tooth. And so now I've got everything. I could have bypassed all that by simply making sure that when I did this mock-up, um, having made this tooth a bit bigger so it actually overlaps, so that's one big take-home point, is that you want to scale these teeth to the point that they have heavy connects. And that's also because of when you go to print it, you don't want this free floating. You want it all you know, connected. And there's things I could talk about the rest of it. You could go through and you could cut pieces off if you don't like it, if it's too thin, you're worried about it. You can start, um, which one is this? Um, this one, I could say, all right, well, I don't want to cut, I don't want that. I don't want this. And then let it, um, Cut it. It didn't cut. Um, well, I'm having a great time here. But the point is, um, uh, you you could do your model editing things and whatnot, and cut this up and trim it. I would recommend working a little harder on the wax up, manipulating the teeth so it didn't stick out there. Um, but anyway, hopefully this video was helpful, 
and knowing how to do these Boolean operations, both to combine them into one and then to subtract out. Uh, and maybe some of my screw-ups will give you hints on things when you screw up. If you do, you can see what I do to resolve them. So I'm just going to leave the video. Hopefully it's not a waste of time. All right, have a good one.